Oh, hey guys. Sorry, I'm feeling a little bit sweepy today. Did I say... Sweepy? Hi, I'm Stevie T. And let me tell you, the most common question I'm asked is questions about or pertaining to sweep picking. Now the technique I'm going to show is my technique. It's how I learned to do it. My technique may vary a little bit by other guitarists. So I don't want to hear like, Oh, you're doing it wrong. You're supposed to do it again. I don't want to hear that because I'm using the technique that I learned. And since people are asking me how I sweep pick, I'm going to show them how I sweep pick. Now I'm not really going to get into the whole theory behind what we're going to be playing. Basically, I'm just going to focus on the technique. I mean, it's a short video. I don't have that much time. Let's face it. You didn't come here to learn the theory behind it anyways. You just want a sweet pick so you can break to your friends and show off and get chicks. Right, because chicks love sweet picking. So here's a couple examples of sweet picking for those of you who don't know what sweet picking looks like or sounds like. And you may even recognize a few of them. Let's see how many you can guess. So in that last sweep picking section I showed you, you might have noticed a ticking in the background, something like this. That's a metronome that helps you to keep time. But I'll go more in depth about playing to a metronome in part two. For now, we're just going to focus on the technique. Now with sweep picking, what we're basically doing is we're playing arpeggios, which means the notes of a chord played separately in sequence, like this or any other variation of chords or scale patterns, you know, whatever. Now we call it sweep picking because the picking hand is picking the notes in kind of a sweeping motion across the strings. This is fun. Oh, this is fun. Now I'm going to try to be as personable and as entertaining as I possibly can because instructional videos can get a little boring. And I've seen instructional videos from professional guitarists before and they end up looking something like this. Right. And here it is slow. Wait, 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 wait. That could be you say. I give up. No, sweet pick slower. My ass. Now for sweep picking tone, one would assume that a lot of gain or distortion would be used for sweep picking, but that's just not the case. You don't need a lot of distortion. In fact, using too much distortion might just muddy up the whole mix, so tone it down a little bit. Now you get a huge tonal difference when using the neck pickup as opposed to the bridge pickup. They both sound good for certain parts. With the neck pickup, you get more of a thicker, juicy type sound, kind of like this. <laughs> Whereas with the bridge pickup, you get a thinner, more in-your-face kind of tone. So take your pick. Some parts may sound better with the neck or the bridge pickup. So take your pick, you know. Now perhaps the most essential part to sweep picking is the picking. So here's how you pick. Now with sweep picking, as opposed to alternate picking, up and down, you're going to be using an up or down stroke in a fluid motion, either up or down the, uh, the strings. Now with your picking hand, you don't want too much tension. You want your picking hand to be real nice and relaxed. You don't want this, like, oh, tense, tense. You want it to be relaxed and natural. That's all you need, just nice and relaxed. And when you're doing your up and down sweeping motions, you don't want to be picking too hard or too soft. If you pick too hard, it sounds like this. 
And if you pick too soft, none of the notes are going to be heard. So you want it to be nice and in between that to where each note is heard clearly and precisely. Now you've got to play with clarity. I learned this by recording in the studio. A riff may sound okay, but by the time you got the drums in there, the bass, left and right rhythm guitars, your notes aren't going to shine through unless they are played precisely and clearly. So clarity is very, very important. You want to be heard. You want to be heard. Mm -hmm. Some guitars may sweep pick using mostly their wrist. Some maybe by using their fingers mostly. It all depends on the guitarist. It, whatever works for you works. The best thing I could say is just start learning it and you'll develop your own, your own way. So there's no wrong way or right way to do it. So when you're sweep picking, you're gonna kinda wanna angle your pick slightly depending on whether you're sweeping up or down. This way it just kinda helps the pick to glide across the strings. If you don't do that, it's good, there's gonna be a bit more tension. I've seen people who are amazing at sweep picking, but for some reason they seem to overemphasize the picking, like, kind of like this. So you don't need to overemphasize the picking, but again, if it works for you, that's fine. I've seen people pick like that before. So for your fretting hand, instead of keeping your thumb behind the neck, causing your fingers to be at a 90 degree angle with the neck, this is the classical position. This works really well for fast runs and fast picking, but for sweet picking, just bring your thumb up somewhat above the neck so that your fingers are angled slightly. This seems to make a lot more sense to me than this. Like it still works, like if you want to play it like that, that's fine, but I'd prefer just to have a slight angle. But like I said, to each their own, so, you know, whatever, you know. Now if we were to play a lick like this, you may notice that at the bottom on the A string there is a wide stretch from there to there. So we're going to have to adjust our thumb so that we can stretch further. So with your thumb and the angle it is right now, it works fine until you get to that long stretch at which time you're going to want to bring your thumb somewhat angled and somewhat down on the neck and pivot your wrist so that you can make this wide stretch. This doesn't only apply to sweet picking, it can apply to any lick where there's a long stretch. And this technique is especially important for someone like me who has small fingers. So if we were to take a lick like this, you'll notice that these three notes fall on the same fret, but on three different strings. So we're gonna have to use the rolling the finger technique. Without the technique, it'll sound like this. Very noisy because we're holding our finger on all three frets. So what you want to do instead, if we're starting on the 7th fret of the G, you're going to pick that note first, and then just as you're ready to hold down the next note, you're going to lift off from the first note ever slightly to mute it. So we get this. So we play, mute, play the next note, and then repeat again on the 3rd string. So instead of we get this. You will come across this a lot and you'll want to get used to doing that with more than just one finger. And also remember, when sweep picking, not every sweep picking riff has to be fast. Not every riff has to be like this. Slow it down a bit, play it at a medium speed. Like, how, how nice does that sound? In fact, medium sweep picking is actually harder to do than really fast sweep picking. Because when you're playing fast... Not everyone's gonna notice all the missing notes or anything, but if you play at a medium speed, every note has to be heard, and you can't mess up anything. Everything has to be precise.
because every note has its spot and every note has to be heard or it just won't sound right. The fact is you're not going to be able to sweet pick overnight. It takes hard work and dedication and persistence. Ask anyone. Just believe in yourself and you will do it. You mean me? Just don't give up. You can do it. But, but I, uh... No, 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 no. No excuses. You can do it. All right, you're probably sick of my face by now, so I'm just gonna let you go. So until next time, bye. Sweep, sweep.